So intermediate. Um, you've got the template. It's got these nodes installed. And so the first thing is it has the setup and works through here. So let's go through these one by one because, um, again, we will need to. If we just hit Q prompt right away, it's going to break. Um, so we need to make sure that all these steps are followed. So the first thing is models and VAE. Whoops. There we go. So down here we have our models. So we go SD, space, SD, base, refiner, refiner. VAE, randomized seed, 1024 by 1024. We can change the aspect ratio. OK. Let's see what else we got here. So we selected models, VAE, select a default XL LoRa or set to non and off, and then do upscale and control net. OK. So the LoRas, we come down here. It's got two LoRa stacks. So I've got the offset LoRa loaded into this one. Offset LoRa. Um, oh, and I do have my um, Creators Club storage here. So I can change to some of these weird uh, ones that I loaded up earlier. Um, but let's just start with the offset. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so somebody in the chat was just asking that. Um, I, I don't like saying people's usernames because I usually usually butcher them. But yeah, they just asked, uh, when will Laura's and models from our file browser connect to Comfy? And there you have it. It's it's here in this demo. Um, once we get this released, you can expect that. So Yeah, yeah, that's been one of the big ones. So now let's look at the control nets here. And apologize if it's a little blurry. Um, we've got all the one... 1.1 ones uh, for the 1.5 models. You'll see there are 2.1 models and 1.5 models, but the fun stuff's down here. We've got the three big SDXL ones, which is Open Pose, Canny, and Depth. And Sarge has a segmentation one, is that right? Um, there's the QR ones, but then the new stability ones are on here as well. So we've got Recolor, Depth, Canny, Sketch um, for each size and clip vision comfy because it's so modular and like split out into lots of different workflows you can um, just get it running much faster for these types of things okay so let's just use a depth model for funsies and um, what's our prompt <laughs> uh, batch size image in load set the file name Set a copy to use a template. Okay, so we're good. So let's uh, see what our prompt is right here. Fairy woman in a crowd. Okay, sure. And we're going. Was that to... just the default one? Uh, yeah. Or, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I always tend to worry about doing. It's got NSFW in the women. negative. So okay. We're good. We're gonna <laughs> okay, use good. Uh, an image from a uh, deform video on control net that we did. And this looks like a fairy woman in a crowd anyways. So let's see what happens. Um, we'll give this a go. We're using the depth, Laura 128. It's a little noisy. There's a lot of butterflies in it. It's not very like clean, but uh, I wanna see what we get out of it. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Okay, starting. Here, I believe. Oh, we got load image for image to image. So um, we don't want to use the image to image thing here. So the uh, canny here, you can see the canny map is going to be a little chaotic. But it is uh, going through and loading the refiner right now. So it looks like it's working. Let's give it a second to roll through. Oh. There we go. Very cool. So now I think uh, we needed to change the upscaler, what I forgot to do. But yeah, that's oh. kind of the, is that the same pose? Did that follow it? Hold on, uh. I got to change this from ultra sharp to another one that we have here. I think that's the same. Yeah, 
a little bit longer. It looks pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty. I mean, can you can you maybe lower the creativity so it doesn't deviate too far from the original image? Um, like I think you the can strength is in at auto. One. Oh, it isn't. It's at point three. Okay, that explains it. So let's go up to point eight. The weight of it. Oh, cause yeah, it would probably. Yeah, this doesn't. Yeah, look like see, it it's it, it's not even looking like the original image. Yeah. Still pretty good. But let's uh, go back over let's here. Get closer to that. Yeah. Oh, switch. It's off. Okay, there you go. On. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is it's yeah. like every workflow is like you kind of have to dive in and really like even if you don't Check build everything. it it's not like it's just gonna go right away yeah you yeah. have to dive through the whole workflow understand it yeah pretty cool yeah try it again yeah so with regular control net canny in auto you've got the CFG, the higher the CFG is, the more creative, you know, your control net image will be. Um, and then you have your control net settings where you say, like, the weight of the control net, you know, how balanced do you want it to oh, be? Oh, there we go. To, to... So now it's, like, really messed up. I, was I would say the oh, CFG does not, um, ooh, that's messy. CFG does not uh, Put that back down. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't change. CFG just, it doesn't change the control net. It just changes the creativity off the lines that control that gives you. Okay. Like, it I gives mean, you a CFG, new image, right? CFG is, is um, conditioning guidance, so it's... I'm just going off of dealing, what auto... It's mostly dealing with the prompt and, like, how close it is to the prompt. Yeah. All right. So the, the lower the CFG is, the more creative it is. The higher it is, the more it's trying to be the more closer it to the prompt. sticks to the prompt, yeah. right. Okay, this looks like what we started with. So here you can see this face. It's on a slight putting, angle. There's putting stuff around her eyes. Up. So the hand up didn't come up, but um, it's on that same angle. So to me, this is working as planned. Um, but it's kind of funny that you know the weighting is different from auto, right? Like we have a 0 0.3 weight here, but it's making. If you put it up to 0 0.9, it like really overdid it. it. Yeah. Much different, yeah. Needs open pose to get those hands. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, so we've got another one here. And again, same angle on the head. Uh, this face looks more similar. So yeah, I would say this one is working. So let's turn on the LoRa. So on the LoRa, there's a switch. We have to turn it on. Let's turn on that LoRa and see what difference that makes. This is the offset noise LoRa, which was included by stability with the model. So um, let's see what we got here. Dun, 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 dun. It should give it a little bit better lighting, contrast. You see like a lot of these images have been pretty flat in regards to like lighting. So let's see. Very different. I don't know if it's better or not. This is different. Okay. Um, so let's go up here. The weight is 0.5. Let's crank that up a bit. Give that a go. Let's see what we get. Let's try a different, maybe a different um, image for our canny. So it's canny, so um, we want like, here's something that I think we can try that we'll, we'll know really if it's working or not, because this is going to be like more like an elf. And we go down to here, beautiful fairy woman. Let's just take out cosplay event, gold, bodice, armor, fairy wings, and forest. So in the negative, we have drawing and painting and crayon and sketch. I'm gonna take out almost all of that I will leave tilt focus 
turn that on in there and let's try it out let's see what we get um, I think this upscaler is kinda I would want to try changing the upscaler a little bit um, let's do this let's see if we went through but yeah I turned the Laura off so I want to make see if we can get this control net canny working Doesn't hey Ariman be... yes that's definitely something we're we're investigating we uh, yeah we're working with a really talented um, trainer and yeah we, we're opening up some doors to get some people in to kind of get this education put together on, on, on all of that but you need the tools right so uh, we got to get those out first and we are hard at work at that, so stick around.